Well, first of all, thank you to Senator Heidkamp and Murkowski for your tremendous leadership on this really important issue. To all of our colleagues today, thank you for your support, and especially to Esther and Abigail and Anita, uh, the entire team at the Seattle Indian Health Board for everything that they have done to shine a light on this really devastating crisis that's impacting tribal communities in my home state of Washington and across the nation. I'm very proud to stand here today with tribal leaders and elders, our colleagues, and all the advocates to unveil this really important new report that explores the crisis of the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls, and more importantly, what we can all do to make sure the safety and security of Native Americans uh, women and girls. You know, over the past year, the Me Too movement has brought a lot of attention to the issue of harassment and violence that is faced by countless women and girls and men in the workplace and other spaces. And too often, this conversation has really ignored the terrible stories of violence against women and girls in tribal communities who for, the ye for years have been reported missing or murdered at much higher rates than their non-native counterparts, or worse, actually not reported at all. And this is devastating reality across our country, and especially in Washington State, where year after year, from the Yakima Nation to Seattle, dozens and dozens of native families must navigate the tragedy of losing a beloved mother or aunt or sister or daughter who was killed or who is just disappeared. And even more devastating, it's a reality that until now has received very little research or data collection, which created a significant barrier for tribal leaders and others working to end the decades long epidemic of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls in our communities. The epidemic of violence against native women and girls is terrifying and it is unacceptable. And for the first time, this new report authored from within the native community is going to give leaders on the local, state, and federal levels much needed information to address this crisis with the urgency that it needs to be heard, uh, heard. So I have to tell you, as a voice here in the United States Senate, I'm very proud of our bipartisan work. Uh, we've done much to include the Violence Against Women Act, uh, to include tribal communities, uh, and looking at unique ways that we can deal with substance abuse on tribal communities. We've made progress, but this really is a critical step, and we need to really focus on this report and doing all we can. And Senator Murkowski is right. Um, words are important, but without the resources, it won't get done the way we need to get it done. So I'm very proud to stand with this group today. This is the first uh, press conference. It will not be the last. With that, I I'm very proud to introduce Abigail, Echo Hawk, and Anita, who will talk about the report.